This video you are about to watch was shot over a year ago while I was still very pregnant with my second daughter, Zaya. Now, I never ran this video after shooting it because it was done in partnership with Byheart, an infinite formula company that I worked with before their launch and continue to work with to this day. And at the time, you might recall, there was a mass shortage of formula. And I didn't want to add any more stress to the conversation, so we decided to put a pause on sharing it. But now that times are more plentiful, I really wanted to bring this back because when I shot this video, I was really in it. And I know so many of you, which congratulations if this is you, are really in it right now. And it's very helpful to talk with people who can see it from your vantage. And I have a very different perspective now, a very single bodied perspective. So pregnant me is going to walk you through breasts and breast milk and feeding babies as it pertains to sex, because obviously it's shambooty, as it pertains to supply, and supplements. I hope you enjoy. This video is sponsored by By Heart, the first and only new vertically integrated FDA registered brand in the US. Meaning they own their company, their recipe, their promise to you, all of it. And when you own things, you can change things. Find out what big changes they have made to the formula world and how you can bring this goodness to your baby by going to the link in the info box or watch to the end of the video because I have so much more to say about By Heart. Hi there lovers and friends. Ooh, I just need my community right now. I need your prayers and your support and your encouragement because I am feeling very overwhelmed. I am on one hand, you know, obviously getting more and more nervous as I get closer to birth because you want to make sure that everything goes well and the baby of course is healthy. Also nervous because I don't know what I'm going to do with two of them. I genuinely don't. I don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll figure it out. Um, and I'm so grateful that with my first pregnancy, I got to be open and learn so much from all of you. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing about feeding your baby, specifically how I plan to feed my baby based on how I fed the first one. And your information, your tips, your tricks, of course, are always welcome in the comment section, as well as any helpful hints you might have on what to do with two children under two, because yeah, it's a little nerve wracking for me. Speaking of which, let me just say in full disclosure, I am reporting live from the new baby's room, which you might recognize as Ryu's room because I'm not gonna change anything. I know that you technically should because this is like a different baby, different personality. You should like try to change stuff up, but I don't have the energy or I can't really justify why I would put myself through that work. So really we're just moving Ryu into our old room. We moved our old room into the living room and then now we're moving this baby into Ryu's old room and a lot of changes have to happen everywhere else. So I just like, this one could just stay the same, right? Is that, is that bad? I don't, I still think it's cute, it applies. Anyhow, back on track. In this video, I want to talk about feeding your baby, specifically again, how I am planning on feeding mine, and that is mainly with breastfeeding. So I wanna talk about breastfeeding as it pertains to sex, because obviously, you know, I have to talk about sex, supply, and then I wanna talk about supplements. And when I say supplements, I don't mean it in a pharmaceutical way. I mean it in the dictionary way. A supplement is something that completes or enhances something else when added to it. So lastly, we'll talk about supplementing my breast milk supply. First up, let's talk about breastfeeding as it pertains to sex, which you might not think that those two things have to combine together. And based on your experience, maybe they won't, but for me, they definitely did. I found interestingly um, through experience, and then of course through reading online about it, that during sex, specifically during orgasm, you just naturally start to lactate. Um, and there was actually a scene from a Netflix movie in which, you know, her and her husband were trying to keep that spontaneity and fire alive and they were having car sex and then her boob turned on. And I've talked about this before in other videos. When your supply turns on, especially in the beginning, it's not a dribble dribble. It's like a circus sprinkler. So I definitely resonated with that scene. So we had to, sometimes I would wear a bra, you know, to avoid that. And especially in the beginning, breast pads were my best friend. You know, it was essentially 
like a, a panty liner that I had to wear my bra all the time just because of the leakage. I breastfed for a year, so towards the end I didn't necessarily have as much um, spontaneity around when my breasts would start to expel milk. But in the beginning, it was pretty funny and fun to navigate. And whether my husband wanted to try it or not, yeah, he, he definitely got caught up. Um, but as long as you can be communicative about it and clear, and then of course, if you are having sex with new partners, breast milk is a bodily fluid, so you do wanna make sure to get yourself tested and checked because somebody might accidentally consume a bodily fluid and you wanna make sure that your health is in a good place for that to be okay. That's all I'll say about that. Next up, let's talk about supply. Now, my personal experience with supply I did not realize was privileged until after I'd had a baby and started having discussions with other breast and chest feeders and realized that this can be a major burden um, and a major heartache for a lot of people. I was fortunate to just have a lot of breast milk. And I say fortunate kind of with a grain of salt because in the beginning it was wonderful and I was able to freeze a lot and I really did produce a lot of, of milk. But as Ryu got older and her needs increased and naturally my supply decreased, that's where I think the pride that I felt or maybe the reputation that I felt I'd built up in my family of having this robust amount of breast milk got in the way of me feeding my baby. And as I mentioned, you know, a lot of, of parents feel a shame for going to formula and because my breast milk supply was so strong, times where I did have to supplement with formula felt like a failure. And I don't want that to happen this time around, especially given the fact that I don't know what my supply is going to be like this time around. I might not have the exact same experience. And so rather than trying to prove something, whether that be to myself or to everyone else, by taking on the burden of feeding 100% on my own, I hope that I have you know, a bit more graciousness with my body and then just saying, again, if I get to that place, if I'm able to do it, wonderful, and I'm happy to provide. But if it gets to a place where my body is not able to produce as much as the baby needs to consume, then that's where I hope, again, I have an easier time opening my heart and opening the baby's mouth to supplemental feeding, which is what I wanna talk about next. So I'm gonna be very honest here. I think given that I am an older mom, Mixed in with some other things, I was really adamant that my body could do it. And so embracing formula took a lot longer than I am proud to admit. And especially towards the end of my breastfeeding journey, which happened at exactly a year old, um, a year and one month when I found out that I was pregnant with a second baby, I was like, I'm not feeding three people, I'm out of the game. And that's when I was able to just like let myself let go of that. But prior to that, I definitely struggled because I felt the pride from doing it all and my body doing it all. But the real truth is you're doing a lot and you don't have to prove that you're a good mother or that your body is capable um, to the point that you're putting yourself and your mental health at harm or possibly even depriving your, your child of the nutrition that they could benefit from. And that is why, again, I wanna talk about By Heart um, being a formula brand that I just adore. And I'm glad that again, towards the end, when it got to that place where it just really wasn't enough, I was more open. And I really hope and believe that with this next baby, because I don't know what my story is going to be, that I've gotten over hopefully that ego hump and that I will be even more open to inviting help from incredible places into my life because uh, yeah help is definitely a word that i've become a lot more comfortable with since having kids like right now for example help however you'd like i'll take it this is now my second video i've dedicated to boobs and babies in that combination because it's a very fascinating process to see how your body changes and adapts to this new change in your life. And 
I hope to continue talking about it because I know that so many people who go through it are like, I didn't know or I would love to have known. So if you want more boobs and baby content, please check out this other video. Um, but also before you go, please leave some comments in the comment section below talking about your experience if you have or if you haven't had some of the questions you might have around boobs and breastfeeding as it pertains specifically to sex, supply and supplements. To parents out there who are afraid or conditioned to be ashamed of inviting aids and assistance and supplements into their life, I just wanna to say to you, it is powerful and it is beautiful to reach out and ask for help. And in this area in particular where it is unknown, this is a new thing that your body is doing that you may have never done before. So asking for a lactation expert's help is logical. Asking and researching to find out what the best formulas are to supplement your own supply or to replace if you don't want to supply in that way is beautiful. And I wish that I embraced that as normal a lot sooner. And I'm really, really glad that I'm embracing it now ahead of the journey that I'm about to embark on. Yes, I'm so glad that you guys stayed because I want to tell you more about Byheart. This is the first new formula brand built entirely from the ground up. They rewrote the formula recipe completely, own their ingredient sourcing, manufacturing, research and development facilities, and clinically proved their closeness to breast milk claim in nationwide clinical trials. Parents, you might be stressed about feeding your baby because you felt like you have to lose if you choose formula. But By Heart is offering no compromise nutrition, meaning all-in-one benefits like easy digestion, immune support, gut health, less spit up, less gas, and softer poops. It's the first US infant formula to be clean label project certified with no corn syrup, maltodextrin, soy, or palm oil, because in By Heart's recipe, every ingredient is considered. So consider checking them out. I am so glad that I found out about By Heart. I was one of the first people to know about By Heart when I had Ryu, and now that I am having baby two, I'm even more thrilled to have this in my cupboard. And if you are interested in learning more, go down to the info box, click the link, and see what's possible for you and your Lil.